let's get ready to rumble. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> okay, I don't want to get uh, copyright protection here. Um, so this is the custom 74, and this is the custom 823. Both of them are actually. Um, I will have a video of these two coming out shortly um, to compare what a fine versus medium is like. Uh, and as you can probably tell just from the tipping, they're pretty drastic results. Um, so stay tuned for that. Um, but I thought I would do a quick video, or I'm going to try and make it a quick video, <laughs> um, comparing these two pens, the Custom 74 and the 823. The reason why I thought I would do this is because sometimes I do get questions since I talk about these a lot. Um, the Custom 92 or 92, yeah, Custom 92 um, really is the in-between these two pens because it's the one with the piston fill, um, but I don't own that. Um, I have tried it in the past. It's a little small for my liking. It's actually smaller than the Custom 74. Um, so maybe I will pick that up in the future, who knows. Um, I also have now a Pilot Custom uh, 912. So let me know if you want to see that in comparison. Um, who knows? I might even do one of all the pilots that I own. But anyways, for today, it's the 74 versus 823. Um, so visually, they're pretty similar in the sense that they're both cigar-shaped pens. The cap or the finial uh, on the 823 is a little bit longer than on the Pilot 74. The clips are basically the same. Obviously there's like the trim difference um, that this is gold and this is silver, um, but they're pretty much identical. Uh, you got the famous pilot ball here. Both of them are semi-transparent. This one has an inner seal cap that's a little darker than this one. Um, so you can see the nib through the cap, whereas on this one, uh, it really depends on the lighting. And same with this, which is the smoke finish. Um, when you come down to the trim rings, the Custom 74 is not backfilled, um, so it's it's engraved in and you can feel it, um, but it doesn't pop as much as the Custom 823 because the Custom 823 has been filled in with um, like black resin or something. So that's easier to see. Um, both have a ring above the main ring. Uh, Pilot Custom 74 just has one star. This has three, but I mean, it's also got more real estate to, to fill in. So that's probably why, but they say the exact same thing. Pilot, you know, made in Japan. Um, when it comes down to the body, uh, this obviously is much bigger um, for capacity sake. This is a vacuum fill, whereas this is a um, converter with the Con 70. Um, and the ring here is bigger on the A23 than on the 74, and as well as the little thing here. But this has to be a little larger because it actually operates. Oh, I uncapped it. Um, because this is what operates the vacuum fill arm. Whereas this operates nothing. <laughs> so since I've already got this uncapped, we'll take a look at the threads. Um, it looks as though there's more threads on the Custom 74. There are not. Um, this is on the inside keeping um, the, like when you thread in, <laughs> thread in the body to the grip section. My brain, guys. Whew. Um, so it looks like there's more threads, but there aren't. Um, they're both very, very shallow. You don't really even feel them whatsoever. The Both of them have a uh, trim ring. Obviously, this is gold. This is silver. And the grip section is not that different. In fact, the 823 is only slightly larger. Um, and when it comes to girth, again, only slightly larger. Um, there's not a huge, huge difference. Um, you do feel it when you hold them. You do notice that this one's a little bit smaller, um, but it's not, I'm pretty sure it's a little bit bigger than the Pilot Metropolitan. So it's not as thin as that. Um, I sold all of mine, so I don't have that comparison anymore, but from what I remember, I'm pretty certain that this is a little bit bigger. The nibs are really where it visually separates itself um, size-wise. 
This is Pilot's number five size nib versus Pilot's 15 size nib, aka in real life, <laughs> this is a number six size nib. Um, so this would be closer to like a number five size nib. Um, if I take out a Caveco Sport, just for comparison, it obviously is much bigger than that, just for size wise. Um, so definitely some good stuff there. Like I said, this one obviously is a vacuum fill. This one is a converter. It comes with a Con 70, uh, which holds a pretty decent chunk of ink, in my opinion. Um, you can get the Custom 74 in uh, a, a lot of colors, whereas the 823, you can only get in the amber finish and the smoke finish. Both of these are now available in North America pretty readily. Um, in Japan, uh, you can get a completely clear demonstrator with zero color whatsoever, um, but that is not available right now in uh, North America, but who knows, may eventually come down. Um, but this you can get in a ton of colors and it is also readily available in North America if you purchase these two pens. Um, well, I guess not both of them, but I mean like one or the other. Um, it does come with a bottle of uh, Namiki Blue ink, um, but you can buy that ink any, t any time of year just by itself. Um, all that's different is the packaging that the bottle is in, uh, whereas this does not come with anything except for um, the converter and a single cartridge. Um, but there is a pretty big price difference, um, which I am now blanking on. I know that this is $288 America, you know, USD. Um, I'll make sure it's on the screen. This one I want to say is like 160 something or 170. So it's a pretty big jump. Like I said, the custom 92, uh, 92 would be in the middle um, here, but I personally don't care for that one as much. Um, but that's just me. <laughs> Uh, I have done uh, full reviews of this pen and this pen already. So if you want to get nitty gritty with them, do check those out. Um, I will do a quick writing sample in a moment, but if you want to see really more about each individual pen, do check those out as well. Uh, and like I said, I will have a video coming up shortly comparing this medium nib to the fine nib. Um, currently, clearly this one is not inked up, but soon will be. So let's push this one to the side for now and let's get out some paper. Whoop. <laughs> I'm gonna get out some Tomoe paper in Galen Leather's Everyday Book. Let's do this here. All right. So in my Pilot Custom 74 with a medium nib, I have um, KWZ Northern Twilight inked up and it smells amazing. <laughs> this is a beefy, juicy medium. Uh, it is an absolute dream boat. Um, I like it a lot. It keeps up with me no problem whatsoever. You can push a tiny bit out of it, um, but it's certainly not needed. Uh, it's very wet. This ink is very nice also. <laughs> um, and I love the way that this feels. Um, this nib feels like butter. Uh, it's very smooth and it has very nice like uh, almost like shock absorbers on your car. Like it's got a nice squish to it. <laughs> That's sort of the best that I can kind of come up with there. Um, by comparison, this is going to look drastic um, because this is a fine nib um, and it is very, very, very fine. Um, so the ink in this one is Gerbant Lit de Tay. Um, and even in a fine nib with a drier ink, it's still pretty wet. Um, so it writes really well. This pen is super tuned. It writes under its own weight, um, as does this one. I really haven't ever had problems with 
any pilot nib I've ever had. Um, it's just, it's really solid every, every time around. Um, even fast riding keeps up, no problem. Never any hard starts, skipping, anything like that. These are so solid. You really can't go wrong. Even with the Pilot Metropolitans, um, everything, you just, you cannot go wrong with Pilot pens. Um, I really, really, really like them. Um, I used to have a clear um, Pilot 74 in my collection that had a fine nib, and I just wasn't about that life back then. <laughs> Um, and I don't really love demonstrators. If I do have them, they're like this where they're tinted um, and I'm okay with that. But I don't really like completely clear um, pens. So I did sell that off a while ago, but I'm very glad I have these two. Hopefully you found this interesting, entertaining, uh, informative, all of the things. <laughs> um, and, you know, let me know in the comments down below if you want me to compare anything else that you can see on my channel. Um, so guys, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Hit that like button if you like this video. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more every Monday and Friday and occasional Q&A on Tuesday. As always, I really, really, really appreciate you guys watching and hanging out with me. And I'll see you next time. Bye.